Do you want to gather intelligence like a pro? In today's video, we'll cover some essential OSINT tools that you need to master. Stay till the end and I'll show you how you can get started using them for free. Before I continue with the video, I want to remind you to like, share, and subscribe to Everlast Cyber so that you'll be informed when our informative videos drop. In today's video, I'll be sharing some tools that will help you sharpen your skills, and these tools will also help you to uncover hidden data fast. I'll be sharing some tools like Gray Noise, Google, Virus Total, and so on and so forth. So the first tool we're going to be looking at is Gray Noise. As you can see, Gray Noise is a cybersecurity tool that provides you with threat intelligence related to internet background noises. However, what it does is that it filters out internet background noise by telling you which IPs are actually important. And by doing so, it saves you a lot of false positives. Gray Noise collects and analyzes data from multiple sources to identify and classify internet-wide scans and attack patterns. You can review um, current trends by clicking on Explore Trends. And um, for this video, we'll be running some um, examples so that you can see what search queries we can do. Also, if you don't have something specific to search for, you can click on any of this already on the screen or you can click on the explore trends. So I just clicked on the explore trends and there are a lot of, you know, trend tags here that you can look up. So if I go to this one, let's see. Uh -huh. So for this one, this is the Oracle WebLogic CVE 2019-2725 worm. So if you take a look, you can see that IP addresses with this tag have been observed sending malicious requests attempting to exploit Oracle WebLogic CVE 2019-2725. So in the in the last 24 hours, these are um, this is like the graph of what has been observed. So from April 30th to May 1st, this is what has happened. You know on this. So in the past one day, 24 IPs have been observed based on that. And these are the malicious IPs that have been observed, 24 of them. So if you scroll through, it shows the different IP addresses, it shows the organizations, and it shows their sources as well and destination. So the source of this malicious IP, as you can see, is Germany and its destinations are Germany, United States, Japan, Brazil, Indonesia, and so much more. This one also, the source is from Netherlands. This is from Switzerland. This is from Pakistan. So this tool is a great resource. It collects and analyzes data from multiple sources to identify and classify internet-wide scan and attack patterns, just as we can see on the screen here. So you can review the um, current trends and click into them to see the data, which we've done here. And um, if you don't want to search for trends, you can go um, manually in and search for any specific IP addresses or tags, you know. There's also a cheat sheet somewhere on the page that you can use. So you can just explore, you know, explore this tool and you'll be able to see a lot of things that it offers. The next tool we're going to be looking at is Google Docs. Google Docs, especially the cheat sheets, is a great resource that allows you to leverage Google search engine by using advanced search operators to perform specific and targeted searches, just like you can see on the screen. So there are various um, targeted searches you can use. So you can search security related docs, you can search internal server related docs, server configuration, very specific server file docs, you know, there's a lot of um, resource here that you can 
search for. And as you see on the screen, OnlyFans Google Docs. This is pretty popular these days, and I think we can take a guess as to why. So for this tool, let's um, try the security related um, docs. So to search for any file type that contains um, PDF files containing the word password, you can just copy this and paste it in the search engine. So when you click on enter, it will show you all the resources that has PDF files containing the word password. So as you can see here, there are a lot of, you know, resources that will come up because of the targeted search that will be used here. We can also try another one. So if, for instance, we're searching for pages that has PHP scripts um, in the text, and it also contains the word debug, you can just copy it. And then you go to Google and paste it. So it will show you all the pages that has, you know, a PHP script in text with the word debug. So this is, you know, a very resourceful tool to use. If you also want to search for, for instance, Excel files or even any kind of file, but for, for the purpose of this video, let's search for Excel files containing the word username. So we'll just copy this query and then put it in the search engine. And there you have it. So it will bring up various pages that has Excel file attachments that contains the word username. So this, this is a great tool for open source intelligence that we can use. The next tool we have is VirusTotal. This tool is something you're going to use every day if you're conducting investigations. It is basically seen as the Google of malware. The search feature that they have is free and it is available to anyone to use. Now, in the user interface, which we have here, you'll be able to search and in the background, the item is inspected with over 70 antivirus scanners and URL domain block listing services. Once you run your search, you can search um, a file you can search using a URL. So once you run your search and you've got your analysis, it gets even better because you can go through the comments that other users have posted about the files or the URLs. And you can also go on to inspect things like the passive DNS data and retrieve threat intelligence details regarding the domains and the IP addresses. So just for a quick demonstration, let's see what happens when we search for this URL, www.everlastcyber.com. So let's click on search. So while we wait for it to search, it's taken this long because there are a lot of antivirus scanners that are inspecting this URL. And once the um, analysis is complete, we're going to see the various feedback from each of the users. So as we see on the screen, various um, vendors have analyzed this website and the feedback says the website is clean, as we can see here. Now at the bottom, we'll see some vendors that have not rated the website and that's perfectly fine. We can see that the feedback is unrated. Now you can dive further into the feedback by clicking on this details tab. And when you click, you see the basic properties um, like the history and things like certificate attributes, as well as the permissions. You, know, you can also see the meta tags, you can see the trackers. So the website has Google AdSense, so you can see the tracker. You can also see the redirection chain right at the bottom here. So there's a lot of information here that you can use. Under the community tab, you can see what other users um, are posting, but 
to use this feature, you will need to have a virus total account. So you will need to sign up to be able to see the um, features in the community tab. So this is, you know, a great resource to use. And I highly recommend that you use this tool if you're a SOC analyst or you just want to dive, you know, deeper into things like malware analysis or threat intelligence. This is a very useful tool to have. The next tool we'll be looking at is the URL scan. This is a free service to scan and analyze websites when you submit a URL scan to them. It basically does an automated process by browsing the URL like a regular user and recording all the activity that the page navigation creates. This includes things like the IPs that were contacted, the resources that were used, like if CSS was used or if JavaScript was used. And it will also show the requested activities from this domain. So as you see on the screen, these are various um, scans that have gone on. And this page refreshes every 10 seconds, every 10 seconds. So we can see the various activities here. You know, it shows the size, it shows how many IPs it has scanned. This tool is great for analyzing suspicious URLs or even phishing emails. So that is the kind of activity you do using this tool. As a demo, you can see that some recent scans on the home pages of users have been done. And you can do a private scan by putting in the URL or you can do a public scan. It depends on the one you want to use. You also have the option to do a country scan, you know, by selecting the country you want to scan. So as an example, let's click on one of these URLs um, on the screen. Um, so let's click on this one. So you can see it shows the number of IP addresses contacted, 11. It shows the countries as well. It shows live information and a Google Safe Browsing certification as well. So this is this is a very great tool to use, you know, to do your um, scans, especially when you receive um, emails from um, URLs that you don't know. Instead of just clicking and falling prey to, you know, hackers that could have sent a phishing email, you can just use this um, tool to scan that URL to ensure that it is safe. So here you can see the Google Safe browsing. It will give the notification here if it is safe or not. It will give the verdict if it is safe or not. So you can visit this site by clicking on the link I added in the description. And you'll see that it's very, very useful. Um, as a bonus, there are two other websites that you can use to um, do your searches. That is Multego. Multigo is a powerful graphical link analysis tool for gathering and collecting information about people, companies, websites, IP addresses, domains, and so much more. It is widely used in open source investigations and um, it is widely used in open source intelligence investigations. It is also used in cybersecurity, forensics, and even law enforcement. Some of the key features of this tool is that teams can work together on, on large investigations using the Multego server. Um, you can write your own transform or integrate external tools and APIs like, you know, virus total and Shodan. And in most cases, it's used to track threat actors. It's also used to investigate breaches. It's used to basically gather intelligence on individuals for ethical hacking and uh, private investigation purposes. Now, the, the downside to this particular tool is that the free version is limited and, you know, there's a steep learning curve for beginners. So this might not be your first choice of a tool to use for the open source intelligence tool. Another bonus tool we can look at is this one. So that is um, Spiderfoot. For this one, it's an automated open source intelligence reconnaissance tool, and it is perfect for scanning domains, 
IPs, emails, usernames, and so on and so forth. Um, it is fully automated, so it does fully automated scans, and it has over 200 modules for things like DNS lookups, who is data, social media discovery, breach data, open ports, and so on and so forth. Now, the, the good side of this one is that it is beginner friendly, um, it has a beginner friendly interface that's for the basic users and it is open source so you can install spiderfoot hx for uh, more enterprise features the downside of this is that it can if if you scan large targets it can be very slow and then some of the advanced integrations requires api keys which can either be free or paid as a last note Remember to always do things the safe way and maybe use a sandbox whenever you want to do your, you know, analysis. I hope this video has been useful for you. Let me know what you think about these tools in the comments. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more cybersecurity content. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.